What is up guys, Euclid back here with you again. It looks like today the creators of our beloved game that takes us all through the tunnels of the hidden Moscow Metro have released a new opening cinematic trailer for Metro Exodus, which has actually been pushed forward as it, today it was announced that it went gold. Metro Exodus will be released, I believe it is on February 13th, but don't quote me on that, I just want to be sure, but it'll leave February 13th. They're pushing it forward a few days. I think they've had all the time they need, and right now they're just making sure to iron out all the bugs. So let's go ahead and get on with our reaction of the intro cinematic to Metro Exodus. Inspired by international best-selling novel Metro 2035. Oh, the hype is really building up for real. It feels so good to feel this way about a release to come soon again, I swear to God. 4A Games. I've been tagging you guys in a lot of things and I kind of apologize in advance. But I don't really feel bad. <laughs> that was okay February 15th 2019 that was fucking beautiful oh my god dude that like those those piano strings um yeah it was just it's almost like it hit home there was a, there was a familiarity to it right whenever we go through we'll scroll through it real quick I'm not gonna do a whole recap video we're just gonna go through it together Oh, that, that music is just beautiful. We'll turn the volume down just so we can kind of recap it real quick. I love that it immediately goes to this section right here. It looks like more of a hint towards Artyom, right? The face mask breaking off. Look at that. What does that symbolize? I think the face mask breaking off symbolizes leaving the Metro. We're finally leaving the tunnels. If you guys have not read the novels, I wholeheartedly recommend you read them. Read them. Please read the Metro books. At least read Metro 2035. But no, read all of them. 2033, 2034, and 2035. Please read them all. These books are amazing. They're, they're sad. They are so so sad and so heavy but they're beautiful in their own way of you know a mixture of melancholy and sadness that i just i can't really describe in simple words the thing that i love most most about these uh, these games and these movies in tandem is it's just there's this cult following that i'm driven to i can't control why i love these games and books so much other than the fact that it's just it's stuck with me and the music especially like listen to that and seeing that again Nasty Watchman. Directed by Andrei Prokhorov. I know I said that wrong. That's beautiful. It looks like the beginning to a movie. A well developed. And look at that. When asking yourself who that is, I have a pretty fantastic get. Oh my fucking god, dude. Look at that. Oh my god. I knew that's what I thought I saw. Dude, that's Miller. That's Miller. I can't I can't say anything, but those of you that read the books already know Colonel Miller, his legs. He's walking again. That he's a badass, dude. He's a bad motherfucker. Colonel Miller is somebody to not be trifled with. And there's just a lot of weight to the fact that they're still carrying these. It looks like he's got a pneumatic. And of course there's Anna, which is Artyom's wife. 
Um, they have a very complicated relationship in the books that I can't really go in tandem with enough, but I've got to say that it it's, oh God, it's so beautiful to just see that. I love that it shows her and we see her. And, and if it, it's not obvious enough who he is, then you see those, his form, how he walks. Miller's coming back and he's got to fight somehow, so this is how he's going to walk. And then there's the Aurora. Uh, I, like, I thought I caught that. I didn't initially. I'm glad I went over it again. Um, I mean, I'm so excited to see this. You guys have no, no idea. I, I want more. I want more. I want more. I want more. I cannot be, you know, <laughs> my thirst for more content for these games is amazing. And you know what really hits home for me is when that trailer hit E3, the applause they got was unreal. The feedback they got was unreal because they are an underdog developer. Um... And it's going to be good to see them really stick it to people, especially during this era. Not It's not a dry era, but it's an era of incomplete games. And I don't, I just have this feeling, this good, faithful feeling that this game's going to be released and it's already going to be there. There's going to be our signature campaign experience. This is, this is a single player game. It's there for those that love the story of the Metro series. And the fact that we're getting a sequel. like I, There was a part of me that knew there was going to be a sequel, but how long would it be? And when they, when they had that announcement trailer, not only was it amazing how it was presented, but nobody expected it. They're this underdog developer of people that you could never understand. So much stuff has happened recently, like I'll be talking about in a separate video, the canceled Metro 2033 game, uh, movie. That was canceled because the scripter wanted to Americanize it. You want to ruin a movie? You want to ruin any kind of story that came from any country? D try to make it more like your own. Or something like that. Americanize Metro 2033? Then it's not Metro 2033. I, have, I want nothing to do with <laughs> Americanizing this story? No. I'm sorry if this sounds... Uh, you know, Any of you that might watch me that are Russian or that are watching this right now that are Russian... Russians need to make that movie, or it's not going to be good. If Russians don't make that movie, just like if you wanted to Americanize Stalker 2 at the game, you're going to ruin it. Let the Russians do what they do best, tell these beautifully tragic stories. I'm absolutely in love with anything that encompasses a story revolving around Russia. I've been obsessed with the country and all the disasters that have taken place in it since I was a little kid. And I can't really explain why, but what I can tell you is that they produce good games, they produce good stories, and they know pain, and they know that there's just so much dark and deep history within Russia that it, I think, influences a lot of the stories that they make. Such brilliant men and women come from that country. And, 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 and Ukraine, and, and just... Anybody from that part of the world, I mean, I'm not trying to generalize it. I just don't want to ramble on about it and pretend I'm, I'm like so, you know, I know I'm not an intellectual and I know that I'm not this person that knows, and I'm not a historian to an example, but it, it's, they, it needs that, that, that inspiration, that Ukrainian inspiration on one hand and Russian inspiration on the other, depending on who, where the story came from. And it's the same as this. If they tried to Americanize Metro Exodus, I wouldn't be buying it. I'd be like, no, you're going to fucking ruin it, okay? That that just hits home right there. Right when it shows what I believe is Artyom, you know, aiming. And that might be one of the, the Rangers. Just let's watch it for a second. I love it. I love it. That just shows that we're leaving the tunnels behind. We're, we're leaving the tunnels of the Moscow Metro behind and we're not looking back. We're not going back. We're going to leave them behind. We're moving on. We're going to save whoever we can to join with us to find life outside of the Metro. We're not going to stay in the doomed existence of the Metro. There is a beautiful story to be told here, and I know that I'm probably overreacting, but I've been gone for too long and I've been working way too hard to not tell you guys how I really feel about this game. This developer deserves to, su deserves to succeed. That's why they've been gone for so long, because they've been busting their ass on this game. And if I can do anything to help build the hype and to help build the following, to build that cold up to something that it needs to be, uh, game developers have been letting us down for years. For years. And it's pissed me off. 
all these incomplete games that have come out over the years and you know what that's one thing that developers from that side of the world never do is they never make incomplete games and they never try to fork us for greed so honestly I am more excited to see this game than any other game to come out the only other game that competes with that is stalker 2 said to release in 2021 so that's how I feel about Metro Exodus, and that's how I feel about this awesome trailer. I am in love with this game series, and if you haven't read the books yet, you need to. The last book, Metro 2035, made me feel this way. Sad, but relieved. Like I wasn't in pain anymore. That's how the ending of Metro 2035 made me feel. So you guys need to read them. Sorry to get emotional, but this trailer was meant to do that. Or maybe I'm fucking crazy. The point is, this has been the title sequence to Metro Exodus, a wonderful game that is when is it, it is on track to being done. They even went gold and pushed it forward for the release of February 15th of 2018 of 2019. I am Euclid, and I will see all of you stalkers aboard the Aurora in the next video.